Do you ever wake up feeling like your night was a blank slate? No memories of vivid landscapes or strange scenarios? If you found yourself in the rare category of people who rarely or never dream, you might be wondering what it means. Dreaming has fascinated scientists, psychologists and cultures for centuries, yet some of us experience dreamless nights more often than not. So, what's really happening when your mind goes quiet during sleep? In today's video, we'll break down the science of dreamless sleep, explore what it means for your health and dive deep into the potential causes. By the end, you might have a whole new understanding of your quiet nights and what they could be telling you. The science behind dreamless nights, what's really happening? To understand why some people don't dream, we need to first understand how dreaming works. When we sleep, we go through different stages, one of the most important being rapid eye movement, REM, sleep. This is the stage where most vivid dreaming occurs. If you're not experiencing dreams, it could be because you're not getting enough REM sleep or because your brain isn't retaining the memories of your dreams. Dream recall plays a big role here. You may dream, but your brain might not log those memories, leading you to believe you had no dreams at all. Other times, poor sleep quality or certain health issues might be interrupting your REM cycle altogether. But before you jump to conclusions, let's explore some intriguing explanations for why you might not be dreaming. 1. Interrupted REM sleep, the silent saboteur. You've probably heard that REM sleep is crucial, but what you might not realize is how easily it can be disrupted. Anything from stress to lifestyle habits like drinking alcohol or pulling late nights can interrupt this essential phase of sleep. Without enough time in REM, you simply won't dream as much, or at all. Your body cycles through different sleep stages every night, but REM sleep tends to happen later in the cycle. If you're waking up frequently or not getting enough deep sleep, you may not even reach the dream state. This lack of REM doesn't just lead to a dreamless night, it can leave you feeling groggy, unfocused and fatigued the next day. 2. Medications effect on dream. Recall, a sleep story untold. Some medications can directly affect the way your brain processes dreams. Antidepressants, for example, are known to reduce REM sleep. If you're taking medications like SSRIs or even sleep aids, these could be blocking your brain from entering that dream-rich sleep stage. This isn't necessarily bad. Many people rely on these medications for mental health, but it does explain why some people have fewer dreams. Interestingly, some drugs don't just reduce dreams, they suppress your ability to remember them. You may dream, but the brain doesn't store these memories the same way, leading to a blank recollection in the morning. It's like watching a movie, but forgetting the plot as soon as the credits roll. 3. Stress, the dream killer, that's right in front of you. Stress doesn't just affect your waking life, it hijacks your sleep too. High levels of stress and anxiety can significantly impact your sleep cycles. The more stressed you are, the harder it is to fall into deep, restful REM sleep. When your mind is preoccupied with worries, it has less space for the creative, chaotic realms where dreams usually unfold. Stress can also cause frequent waking throughout the night, which stops you from reaching the deeper phases of sleep. If you've noticed a period of dreamless nights, consider what's been weighing on your mind. 4. Trauma, suppressed emotions, suppressed dreams. Trauma has a way of staying with us long after the event, and it often shows up in our sleep. While some people experience vivid, distressing nightmares as a result of trauma, others might have the opposite reaction, an absence of dreams altogether. Your mind might be avoiding the emotionally intense experience of dreaming to protect itself. In essence, the subconscious could be shutting down the dream phase to avoid triggering difficult emotions. If you've gone through trauma and notice a period of dreamlessness, this could be your brain's way of coping with the aftermath. 5. Sleep Disorders – When the Problem Runs Deeper Certain sleep disorders can contribute to an absence of dreams. For instance, sleep apnea, which causes your breathing to repeatedly stop and start during the night, can interrupt your sleep cycle before you reach REM, 
narcolepsy, insomnia, and even restless leg syndrome can have similar effects. These conditions don't just rob you of sleep, they rob you of dreams too. If you suspect a deeper issue, it may be worth getting a sleep study done to better understand what's going on when your head hits the pillow. Treating these disorders could help restore the balance and bring back your dreams. 6. Overstimulation Before bed, the digital detox. You didn't know you needed. Our modern world is packed with distractions and many of us are guilty of looking at screens right before bed. But this overstimulation can take a toll on your sleep quality and by extension, your dream state. The blue light emitted from phones and computers tricks your brain into thinking it's still daytime, delaying the production of melatonin, the hormone that signals sleep. Without proper melatonin levels, your sleep cycle can be thrown off and REM sleep becomes harder to achieve. If you're constantly on your devices late into the night, this could be the culprit behind your dreamless slumber. 7. Minimal sleep, less time, fewer dreams. Sometimes the simplest explanation is the most accurate. If you're not sleeping long enough, you're not giving your body enough time to reach REM sleep. Most of us need around seven to nine hours of sleep per night to cycle through the stages properly. But in a world full of busy schedules, late night Netflix binges, and endless to-do lists, sleep often gets sacrificed. 8. Alcohol, the nightcap that stifles your sleep. A drink before bed might feel like it helps you relax, but alcohol is notorious for disrupting REM sleep. While alcohol may make it easier to fall asleep initially, it severely disrupts the deeper stages of sleep, including the dream stage. After a few drinks, your body might fall asleep faster, but the quality of sleep suffers. You're more likely to wake up in the middle of the night, tossing and turning, without ever reaching the REM stage where dreams live. Cutting back on alcohol before bed could help you reclaim your dream time. 9. Chronic fatigue, when exhaustion overrides dreams. If your body is in a constant state of fatigue, it might prioritize survival over dreaming. Chronic fatigue can cause your body to enter deep sleep more quickly to repair itself, bypassing lighter sleep stages like REM. This is because your body needs to recover physically and dreaming takes a back seat to basic restorative functions. When you're exhausted, your brain and body prioritize healing over creativity. So, if you've been feeling unusually tired and can't remember the last time you dreamt, this could be your body's way of telling you it's time to slow down. 10. Neurological factors. When the brain itself is behind it all. Some people may have neurological reasons for why they don't dream. The brain is incredibly complex and certain neurological conditions can affect how dreams are formed or if they're formed at all. For example, people with certain types of brain injuries or neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease report fewer dreams or no dreams at all. In these cases, the brain's dream-generating regions might not function as expected. If you have any neurological concerns, a conversation with a medical professional could shed light on what's happening in your case. The absence of dreams can tell you more than you might think. Whether it's stress, poor sleep habits, or a deeper health issue, the key lies in listening to your body and adjusting accordingly. While dreams may seem elusive, Understanding the factors behind dreamless nights can help you regain that lost part of sleep. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.